Hello everyone, if you're just tuning into this channel, thank you so much. So I'm going to be making my first video talking about eating corn on the cob. Stay tuned. drill please like share subscribe and click the notification bell thank you Mwah. today we'll be making corn on the cob and i'll show you how to eat it with coconut stay tuned you'll be needing fresh corn basically any corn from the store you need some coconut we'll show you how to crack the coconut open only five ingredients to be using today you have the butter salt if you like some coconut the corn itself and water you see easy peasy now for the corn, we need some cold water just to wash the corn. Put it into boiling water and let it boil for 20 to 25 minutes. Some people don't like salt in their corn, it's totally up to you. Now it's time to crack open the coconut. And I'll be showing two methods of cracking the coconut open. Okay, the first one is just the very quick method. Basically, you're just heating the coconut with some people use hammer, some people use blunt knife. Hit the coconut round. What it does is to loosen the meat from the back of the coconut, and then the water starts to pour. You can see the mess that we've made. Empty the, the water from the coconut. The water is absolutely amazing. I love to drink it. It's a bit salty. You can call it sweet as well. Empty the meat like so into a plate and shortly we'll be showing you how to open the coconut without ruining the water. So, there are three holes in the coconut most times and these three holes are soft. You drill a hole into one of the eyes Sometimes you just put your straw inside and drink it, but make sure the coconut is fresh so that you're not drinking bad water. Okay? Drill two holes to ease the flow of the water from the coconut. And empty it into a cup like so. I'd like to hear some comments of how you've opened coconut before. It can be challenging if you're not used to it. Um, now it's time, just like the previous one. Oh, careful! Oh my God! Now separate the meat like before. Coconut, by the way, can be used for so many things. You can bake with your coconut. You can do whatever you like with your coconut. Once you've removed all the meat, you wash the coconut. When it's all clean, we set it aside. Come with me to see if the corn is ready. So we check the boiling corn and it's near ready. What next do we do? Hmm. When the water is near empty, I think it's time to just let it steam up a bit. And um, we'll get the butter and put the butter into the corn. Oh my god. What the butter does is to sip into the corn makes it oily and moist um, it's absolutely absolutely beautiful you have to try this and let me know what you think actually what some people do is to bring out the corn when it's really hot and then spread butter on the corn oh my gosh spread butter on the corn and just eat up the moistness absolutely beautiful relishing so yeah, sorry, back to business. Dissolve the butter into <laughs> dissolve the butter into the corn and once it's melted inside it, cover it to steam up a bit. And that's it. There are many ways of eating corn on the cob. You can grill your corn on the cob, serve your corn with your coconut. If you try this combination, trust me, you always eat your corn with coconut. Let me know what you think. Try it and give this video a thumbs up. And like it click the subscription bell and see you next time bye bye Mwah.